Mike, a lumber wholesaler, is considering the purchase of a railroad carload of very dimensional lumber. He calculates that the probabilities of reselling the load for $10,000, $9,000, and for $8,000 are 0 0.22, 0 0.33, and 0.45 respectively. In order to ensure an expected profit of at least $3,000, how much can Mike pay for the load? So we're going to set up an expected revenue table. So let's go ahead and list the different revenues that we can have. We can have $10,000, $9,000, or $8,000, and the probabilities associated with those are 0 0.22, 0 0.33, and 0.45. Now notice that when you add up those probabilities, you do get a total of 1 or 100%. So the expected revenue is calculated by multiplying these outcomes by the probabilities and finding that sum. So we're going to have 10,000 times 0.22 plus 9,000 times 0.33 plus 8,000 times 0.45. And so the expected revenue is $8,770. In order to ensure an expected profit of at least $3,000, how much can Mike pay? Now that's going to be his cost for the load. So we're going to remember that profit is equal to your revenue minus your cost. And this is going to hold true for expected profit and expected revenue as well. So we know our expected revenue is $8,770. Also, we know that we want our expected profit to be $3,000. So we can substitute for profit on the left-hand side is $3,000, and the revenue on the right-hand side is $8,770, and I don't know what my cost is. So one thing I can do to solve this algebra equation is I can subtract 8,870 from 3,000 and that will give me a negative answer of negative 5,770. But because the cost is being subtracted, that is a negative, so this cancels out if you divide both sides by that negative, giving you the cost of $5,770. So Mike can expect to pay at most $5,770 to achieve an expected profit of $3,000.